so yes, Waka is gonna be up first. Alright, here we go, yeah. They're getting jumping right into it. That's perfect because I think last time. Ooh. Ooh, last time it was uh we had quite a bit of Luigi's and Samus's and Samus, Luigi, and Ness last week. So I'm curious to see what this week's gonna be looking like. I noticed in the later in the bracket we have Hungry Box, so uh, he was in it last week, but it seems he's performing very well this week, much better than last week. Now let's see, we got Waka and Melon. IQ. Okay, that's a good forward throw. Of course, we're going to be setting up those ledge traps. Taking control of the bomb, okay. Re out of shield options, coming from Melon. Yeah, this is pretty much gonna be the name of the game. We're gonna see, oh, that was a great trick. Love to see some bomb tricks. Even with a taunt at the end of it, but you know, Waka's gonna be trying to, try to of course, get it in onto Melon. Melon Rick. Melon Rick's gonna use his bag of tools to keep Waka out. That's a great conversion out of shield. Easy 33 damage. And Waka, of course, utilizing his very aggressive down B. Getting back to stage. It's looking like Waka was waiting for something outside of the those pummels, but great DI is gonna keep Melon's first stock online. There's that frame 4 dash attack from Luigi. The bomb recovery. Melon's gonna be pushed to the other side of the stage in a very unfortunate spot. Or, uh, directional air dodge. I feel like we're gonna be seeing that throughout the entire life of Ultimate. Especially with online tournaments. Okay, more grenade. More bombs. Look at that. Chopping them up. Getting the Zare into dash attack. Quick damage. But with the... Being at about 20%, might have been able to get the Zare to grab. We all see what happens when Luigi gets a grab, really just uses his imagination. Working his way back. Ooh, getting a little bit extra damage with that bomb bounce too, but a misfire is going to keep Waka, Waka in game one. That, would, that should have been a horrible situation for Waka, quickly turned around by RNG. Seeing a couple of Zares. Melon, ooh, having a difficult time, but Waka bets it all. Still not able to get, not able to clean up the stock, but another misfire! He's gonna make it back again! Man, this RNG is definitely working out for Waka, and that's gonna be a down throw, back air, clean up the stock. And Waka is really one grab away from turning this entire game around, but a quick fair, very clutch fair from Melon, Rick, and it's gonna close out game one. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Live. Oh, shoot. I didn't even get the room. No. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'll send it dry out. Cool. 
Wait, did you put, did you, sorry, did you send it? Where'd you send it? On Discord. Discord? Cool. Must be nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like Walker's doing a better job of attacking the damage on a Melon Rig. I mean, we saw Melon Rig get a couple great conversions in game one, but Walker's doing a good, better job of with his aggro game, really. Oh, an aggressive green missile from Waka. Okay, bomb recovery and just chase him up. Wow, no conversion needed to punish with the tornado. Fans had one job and that was to open up his chat. And he just did it right now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I have one job. <laughs> but I'm also modding matches, so I hope you guys uh, bear with me for a second. Hey, no excuses. I was modding, I am modding a match. I am still waiting for like, confirmation. Okay. I would love it when Link uses the Z. What? Another one? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was. That's sometimes a problem that I feel like a few Link mains. Like. It's kind of difficult at times to go for a bomb throw or know when to go for a proper edge guard. At that opportunity, if he had just like let the bomb drop on the stage and then wait for the bounce to hit it, he would have not had to worry getting hit by the misfire. I think that was what he was going for, though. Uh, he did do it a little bit earlier, and he did it properly, too, where uh, he had the bomb bounce covering the neutral getup. Another misfire for Waka. Unfortunately, this time, RNG giveth. Sometimes RNG taketh. Yeah. That was definitely that is, that is take true, it. <laughs> this this melon RQ, I mean it's got he knows his uh his like conversions with the bombs and like the setups because we've already seen him like snipe it, shooting the bomb to send it at a at like a forty five degree angle at Waka when he's off stage. Just like that, there's an S smash in. That's gonna put oh, yeah, Ooh Yeah, Melon RQ likes that Tom button. But another tornado at the ledge. Let's put Melon RQ off stage again. That was good. Didn't hesitate uh, to just let, uh, throw out the up smash, but also it's really good on Melon because didn't panic. But unfortunately, the second up smash will catch it. I mean, this is a matchup that I honestly feel is pretty even for Link, as long as he's doing an excellent job of consistently zoning Luigi and then also being aware of that grab range because you get sent to a combo like this. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a really big momentum swing though. That was really good. He held shield. He didn't want to like let that go. Yeah, you're right. And oh, I just getting served up with that F smash and Waka's gonna take game two. I mean that was that was looking like it was in Melon Melon Brick was gonna take game two. We're gonna see like a swift 2-0 and Waka's gonna get sent to losers, but Waka is fighting back. Yeah, oh well, he's definitely I mean I wouldn't expect it to go blood for blood, right? You, know, you would definitely see Waka not wanting to like take that out. I mean, hey man, even though we're playing on Wi-Fi, there's still pride on the line. Oh, so much pride. There's more pride than money, I think. Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> whatever whatever is left of the offline pride, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, is definitely transferred over to Wi-Fi. Yeah, so I'm curious to see what, of course, we're going to be going for game three. And it's really just about, you know, Waka getting his hands on Mel and Rick. If if Waka's able to essentially get a grab or stay in face of Mel and Rick's as he has been able to in game two, then we should see a similar game three. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we only really saw one good crab conversion from Waka that, that led to, like, massive damage. We saw a good amount of, like, down throw 
into tornadoes and other options. But when it comes to like the massive damage Luigi can put out, I think we've seen it like one time. Yeah, I think that's also one thing for Melon to like understand is the fact that Luigi can deal out massive damage from one grab. So always playing space, always playing zones. That's one of those things that like you have to really be aware of. Like always having that boomerang out, something for Luigi to deal with so that he has to go from the air or watch out with his ground game. It's something you have to really make sure you're always consistently have. I like that situation there. It's very true. Okay, but we do have the bomb in hand. And, like, what do you do in that situation with Luigi? He had the bomb. The bomb was in his face. So you can't exactly <laughs> like start going to set up. But at the same time, as soon as Link uh commits to an option or any type of animation then you can like quickly get rid of it yeah i and i think that's what luigi's kind of have to like find for is understand that eventually link will give out with one of those opportunities like the situation that melon is going for with consistently tossing boomerang is really good but when he puts himself out towards the ledge he finds himself here at the situation that we see him now now he's unable to recover it's the fact that like he keeps putting himself in situations where he loses a lot of stage control just to throw out boomerang yeah, there's the Z-Drop forcing a roll from Waka, but Mel and Rick just misspacing the forward smash. Sort of unfortunate because he had the right read. I mean, essentially Waka fell for the trap, but the trap just was not set up properly. Oh, that was a really hard landing one there. <laughs> I was going to say, he had not went for that. You have to be careful with that, because it definitely could have been really risky, but Waka went for a grab. Really good, though, for Mel and now I'm making sure that Waka has to fight something, especially when he comes back on the stage. Oh no, and it looked like he tried to fastball it possibly, which doesn't cause the second hit of forward air to actually hit. And sometimes, even if you do go for forward air on the platform, there are situations where it just won't fully connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that second hit of forward air definitely would have closed out Waka's stock too. But okay, that's, those are the bomb tricks I'm talking about. You know, we saw the bomb get knocked up into the air and it actually went off the screen, not too far off the screen, because it came right back down blew up right in Waka's face. Yeah, there are several angles that Link can use tricks to go ahead and throw out the bomb at specific angles, uh, usually within the 45 degree range, but there are like three ways he can actually get the bomb to go to Luigi if he's going for a high recovery as well. If it's a low recovery, man, I will just tell Link to throw the bomb and stop going for something flashy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here comes another taunt. That's three, three games, three taunts. Taunt didn't work out too well last game. I don't know if Taunt the Body is going to come into play. It is a little bit earlier than last time, I think. Hey man, as long as you keep the mentality of taunt to get bodied is all in the mind, then if I were Millen, he's gonna be doing pretty good with this game. And so far, I mean, like I said, right, he has to watch out every time he goes for Boomerang. It's really good to have that out against Luigi, but stage control, that's something you have to really be careful against Luigi because off stage, that tornado can end your life. That's true. Let's see. Throwing the bomb right back at, at Melon Rick. I mean, the bomb is actually like such a huge player in this matchup. Yeah, I, I mean it's one of those tools that like Link has that he can just not only use to uh, cover on himself, but also cover recoveries against his opponent, set up traps. He has an infinite, so to speak, uh, like a, a type of infinite I would say, that's really difficult to execute. But if you can pull it off, you can bring anything back from the brink of Link. I mean, but just even placing it around Luigi, like, Luigi has to respect it that it could in fact blow up, mess up the spacing, or so it's an obstacle that they're going to have to deal with. On top of that, if Luigi ever grabs it, yes, Link doesn't have access to it, but that actually takes away a lot of access from Luigi as well. Yeah, all right, really, like I said, you can use that bomb to actually come back on the stage, really cautious around how it comes back towards center stage. I think that's the fight that he kind of had to keep in mind, right? Is coming back to center stage and avoiding the sides, especially against Luigi. Okay, oh, dash. Yeah, really good. Another dash attack and now misfire. Getting stopped by the boomerang, but I think that was like prime position for Waka. If yeah. he was going to stop anywhere, that's where he wanted to stop. Right above the ledge. Get that invincibility. Reset his options. It's also good for Melon too. Like I said, you want to constantly have something to like worry for Luigi. And having boomerang or bomb, especially when the, you have a case of a misfire, is really good. Oh no, the forward air. Like I mentioned earlier, like if in certain situations, like it can be difficult to, to connect both hits of forward air. It's the second hit that actually kills, not the first. Oh, nice. the boomerang interrupting the grab. We haven't seen many grabs from Waka, but the one time the plunger connects, so unfortunate for Waka. But you know, Melon Rick taking a deep sigh, I'm sure. 
Yeah, I mean, like I said, consistently having the boomerang is really good. Calls out the aerial after the throw. At this situation, the way that I'm seeing the melon playing, it's leading to cause Waka to go for a lot of aerial plays, and simply melon can just call that out with a couple forwards, as we see him going for a couple attempts here. Look at that damage slowly racking up. 144 on the Waka, oh. but double Nair and chasing with Tornado. No. Is that right? Tornado? Oh, that poor DI! That was robbery, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sad days no. for 